Hey guys, John Ortiz with BigYield.us. Today we are gonna be discussing our soybean program. Uh, what our recommendations are, what guys are doing. Uh, we're gonna give you a, a little bit of herbicide recommendation as well as what people are doing. All right, basically we like to start with, uh, at planting, our Yield Coat Soy, which is our dry planter box seed treatment, uh, followed up with our in application. We've got guys that are running anywhere from one to three gallons on a totally tubular system. And the guys that are set up with furrow jet cruisers, uh, we're going anywhere from five to 10 gallons of our uh, BP in furrow in the row. Again, after that, a herbicide program that we would highly, highly recommend that we had great success with last year is the Authority MTZ uh, products mixed with Tulachlor or Dual uh, for your grass control. So you've got your Authority covering your, your water hips, your broad leaves. Uh, things of that nature. So that's a good program that some people have been using. Uh, a lot of guys have been using like your Valors or your Zidua's or Zidua Pros or things of that nature. So that's that's what we're recommending and, and people are using uh, for a herbicide. After we've planted in furrow, applied a dry planter box seed treatment, we're gonna come back and incorporate our big sweet yield at your very first application of herbicide. Uh, usually that's V3 to V5 or 21 days after planting. Then if we get in trouble or if people are making special trips uh, to, to spray or come back for a rescue mission, we're also incorporating uh, our big sweet yield again at that, that point as well. But basically we like to see you come back at R1 to R3 with our big sweet yield DB. Uh, you can in incorporate that with an insecticide and a fungicide. Mix as well, no problems whatsoever. Uh, we've got a lot of people that have been doing it for years uh, and years now. Uh, so that's basically our program that we like to recommend.